Hey y'all, it's me. So first of all, I want to thank everybody for your input on the bleaching situation. Y'all, I love doing discussions like this. I feel like everybody can educate each other if you put in your input. To me, all this stuff is like brand new. Like all the stuff I'm reading, some people was just telling me information I did not know. So thank you so much. I love learning about stuff like this. Um, even the ones who don't agree, same thing. Thanks for your input. I want to especially thank... Um, Dominican Barbie, she is so cute. Um, things she said about, I'm sorry if you get offended, but if you bitch your kids, you know, she started cursing. It was just funny. Thank you for your response, and I agree with your video also. And uh, especially, Coria Williams, I hope I said your name right, girl. I really, really want my sisters, I mean, meaning dark, whatever, you can be Indian, a dark-skinned white person. <laughs> Check out her video. I feel that she really hit home because she was, I could say, a victim of what I was asking questions about. She was light-skinned, y'all. She's light-skinned. And she also bleached her skin for the purposes of what she's seen around her every day. And she's telling you straight up in her video what she did to her face and how it affected her. So with that being said, like, it's really out there, but people just don't admit it. And I feel, I really applaud you for coming out and, you know, expressing your feelings about that because it really was interesting to know that, you know, and she's not even nowhere near my skin complexion. And she was out there bleaching her skin because she felt like, at one point, she wasn't light enough to fit the standards. And I also feel like it's a southern thing. Um, she's in Miami. I'm close to South Florida. I don't, you know, I'm born and raised you know, closer that way, so I understand, it is a big difference, because where I live now, even coming, like, a couple hours away from where I stay now, the, the, the views of light skin, you know, the whole turn red bone, all that, like, diminishes a little bit as you go further up north, so anyways, um, yeah, that was just my thoughts about it, people who are confused, I was thinking that that was just information from my head, from the fading cream, to relate back to what the ladies on Tyra Banks were thinking. That's what the um, description of me thinking all this crazy stuff was trying to figure out where they were coming from. Not because I was just randomly thinking stuff. That's what it was for. You all know, I also have used a skin toning cream to help my face. And when I got in an accident, I had a prescribed one, but I would not put that over my face. So, this video is about fanny creams are good if you use them the right way. I mean, seriously, if something says put on one spot, don't put it all over your face first. So this is just my advice if you're trying to clear up those dark spots. So this is a cream that I've been using. Um, well, I stopped using it like months ago. But um, I used to use this like probably like twice a week or something like that. And this is Palmer's Fanning Cream. Um, it took a long time, okay, to actually see if it was doing anything to my face. Because that's where at one point, I was like, why are my spots still here? Because I had spots right here. I got I got a big burnt right here. Um, when I was in the accident, I got burnt here, burnt here. It was one big old dark slash on my eye. Like, I just don't remember doing videos around that time. I think because I was just like, oh my god. I look like a scary person, cause I mean I was like burnt up. So um, but um, the medicine I used that got from the doctor, I put them on those certain spots. So after they started fading away, they turned pink. You know how your skin starts to heal. So I had pink patches on my face now. My whole arm was pink. So I'm like, oh my god, now what I'm gonna do? You feel me? So um, I started using this Palmer's cream. Um, after um, this other product I was using called Porcelana. Now a lot of people heard about me talking about. Of course, a lot of night fading cream. Um, I think it's called skin toner or something, but I think it's it's a fading cream in my opinion. And I used to have like really dark spots under my eyes, and I used to use it in high school. And Porcelana really works really quick. Um, they used to sell it in Walgreens. I'm not quite sure where they sell it now. Um, we probably can look on online and see if they still have it. But they have a night cream, they have a day cream, and I use that right under my eyes, and I haven't had dark spots since then. So in those, inf those instances, instances, fanny creams do come in handy if you're trying to get rid of those dark spots. Because I did use those to get rid of those dark spots. But in my point, I'm not going to put, I never ever thought about even putting 
something that says test on the area first. If you know, if you have something that says test on the area first, don't put the whole thing on your face. You don't want to test your face first. You know, you feel me? So, with things of that nature, that's what I'm talking about. You want to use it for what it's for. You know, I was amazed that these women were using fading creams to actually get lighter. I never, like, it never registered me that, you know, people actually did that. Like, for like I said, you see it on TV. But when I went to the drugstore and I see, of course, those women might buy it because, you know, they have dark spots here and there. But it was just ironic that all that stuff was gone. Then I run into a lady talking about, oh, it makes me lighter. And then the Chinese man talking about, oh, people try to steal it to get lighter. So it just kind of all came together like, it's women around me who really do this to get lighter. Not only for dark spots, but to really get lighter. Uh, for some cases, like if you have really bad acne scars... Um, I think this is really good for you. Um, if you really freaked out about the fan cream, it's not meant to scare you. It's just meant to open your eyes and realize, make sure you know what you're doing and what you put on your face. Because a lot of the women on that tower show was not educated. And they were grown women. They had, like, no idea what the heck they was putting on their face. So as long as you know what you put on your face, how you're using it, you're good to go. Because I have it, I use it on my face. I used it on my dark spots, and that's the only reason I used it. I never, like, took all this stuff and just started rubbing it on me, like, I'm going to get lighter. That just, I'm for real, I'm, like, really amazed about it. So, as you all know, my elbows, well, I don't know if you know, but I got burnt right here. You see that burnt? I forgot to tell y'all. Don't ask me why I keep getting burnt. I don't know. This happened with my big old light right there. I got burnt right here, like, a couple months ago. <laughs> it's real sad. I know. So, um, this is what I'm going to use to test. Um, the fair and white, um, whitening cream. I'm going to use this to test it and to show you if, um, if it works or whatever. So, um, I know a lot of people every day ask me what fitting creams I can use, what toners I can use. For you people who seriously have serious dark spots and serious problems that you need an extra, an extreme agent to get rid of those things, I'm going to just do, a, I guess, a review on this to show you um, how quick this goes away. You know, to see. I'm, I'm afraid to really put it on my elbows because, like, right now, I'm lighter. Like, it's not my face. It's, like, my entire body. Like, you can see. I'm not lying to you. Look how light I am. I just get really bright on wintertime. So I don't want to put it on my, like, on my actual skin, so I just put it on a little spot and see what it works. But the fair and light says, um, apply twice a day. So, if you use it on your face, I think I recommend just putting it on, like, once. And remember, find a spot somewhere on your body to test it first. Because these chemicals will, it won't burn you like you got burned by hot grease, but it will leave, um, light patches on your face. I know some people who have, you know, patches on your face, on their faces, it's not saying they're using, they're trying to get lighter, but probably using a fading cream and it went wrong or something. Because if you use too much, you would get light spots on your face. Um, a good toner to use, um, is black soap. I've been using black soap, like, forever. And that may be another reason why my dark circles never came back. Because I use black soap, and black soap is good for acne. It's good for... Um, skin darkening, pigmentation, and it gives your face a natural glow. Now, as far as at being a fading agent, if you're afraid of like fading creams, I know some people is like, I never use a fading cream. I'm staying away from that. I don't, pers I don't think black soap is a fading agent. I think it's more of a toner, and that's what most thing I mostly use is skin toners, but not so much of a fading cream. Now, I'm not sure the differences. I'm not no psychologist, no scientist, no theorist. I just say what I think, but I don't feel like black soap and like the Ambi toning lotion is as severe as buying an actual whitening fading cream. I think that's two totally different things. Ask me about Ambi. I wasn't impressed with Ambi at all. Um, it just didn't do nothing for me. It didn't make my face feel nice. It made my face look weird. Like, I didn't like how it made my face look, so I stopped using it. I used the, um, you know, the daily face moisturizer SPF in it. I use that. And usually SPF gives you a ghostly coating on top of your face if you are a woman of color. Anyway, so I just didn't really like Ambi, but a lot of people fall in love with it.
out. I tried using, um, Palmer's actually had a soap. And I bought it because they didn't have no more black soap. I was using it and I broke out from it. So, I don't know nothing else about a toning soap besides black soap that I bought from Walmart. That's all I've been using on my face. I tried using it on my body just to see what it does and I broke out. It's the weirdest thing. I can only use that, like, on my face. Not even almost on my neck. It's just strictly a face thing. And the one thing bad about the black soap is on my face, if I don't use it for a week, my face freaks out. Like, I have to use it every single day like i have to use it and my face will not look right i get all type of pimples and it just looks crazy so i don't know if that's a bad thing but it's just that's just what happens to my face you go to your beauty supply store if you have one like i do it may be maybe because i'm in the south you may not see it as much up north but i think it's a more of a southern thing um compared to like you know just saying like local areas but it's stuff in there that did not have English writing on it. So why would you put something that has no English writing on it in a black store? It's just a lot of things to think about. But um, a lot of those creams that I've seen weren't just typical dark in your spots. No, a lot of those products actually said to get lighter, beautiful skin. I, I promise y'all, that's what a lot of them, those creams said. That's why I really freaked out. I was like, dang, okay, it's one thing to say, you know, get a dark spot off, you know, for unwanted dark marks. But a lot of those basically told you straight up, get rid of, you know, get a brighter light skin. That's what it said. So everything helps, y'all. So I hope we learned something um, yesterday. If you have any more topics that you want me to cover, I love talking. Um, people have a problem with that. We're going to leave that alone. But <laughs> you'll be all right. Ain't that what I told you? Mm -hmm. So um, anyways, if you have any more topics you want me to talk about, the, like, the whole weed thing, now that's going to be like 10 videos. I mean, if it's something specifically about weed, why we buy it and why we consumers of the whatever, because it's weaving my hair right now. I'm not saying I don't buy weed. I'm not saying I don't buy fan creams. It's fan creams right here. You feel me? But um, what I'm saying is, you know, if you got anything else for me to talk about since I have time on my hands, just let me know. So I'll hide y'all later.